so weird being on this side of the screen in particular. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Venti, Venti heard me talking. Now he has to do his mandatory meows to get me to uh, listen to him instead. Venti! Venti! I pulled up a chair for you so that you could sit with me. He was sitting in the windowsill earlier. What's the matter? What? What? Huh. Venti, what's wrong? What's the matter? <laughs> Can you guys hear it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways, hello, Khan. Hello, Crepe Man. Hello, Money Money. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Hi, Lexi, my precious baby. He can sense my presence. <laughs> no, I don't think that's it. He, he, he's just still confused by the entire concept of living in a dorm. He thinks the entire building is a house. So he doesn't understand why he can't leave. <laughs> so he's still a little confused. No, it's because he misses me. I keep telling yourself that, Lexi. <laughs> Anyways, that's the love of my life right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Anyways. Uh, hello everybody! Welcome, welcome to Pokemon Shield, the Nuzlocke. I officially now have rules. Uh, I created the rules. I could change them whenever I desire. <laughs> but I have five main rules. Uh, one is only one- the first part is only one capture per area, with the exception of obviously my lovely- my lovely dog Pokemon that we named Maggie, and then the shiny Wooloo that I'm going to eventually catch, and the cat Pokemon that we decided that we were gonna name Venti. Those are the only three exceptions, unless chat demands more exceptions. If there's a particular Pokemon you guys want me to catch. <clears throat> no, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Uh, second one, if a Pokemon fates, it's gone forever. Snorlax? If there's enough demand for a Snorlax, I will catch the Snorlax. <laughs> but if a Pokemon faints, it's gone forever. Uh, we're not going to talk about what happened at the very end of the stream, okay? Uh, what was it, Friday? Was it Friday? No, it was. What was the last stream? Was it Thursday? It might have been Thursday. But we're not going to talk about that, okay? Poor on. No, we're not talking about that. <laughs> uh... Three, overleveling is okay, mainly because I, um, we're grinding for that shiny Wooloo, so we're gonna do a lot of, like, battling and leveling anyway. Um, four, nicknames are mandatory. Uh, that didn't really matter to me anyway, because I always nickname my Pokemon. And then we have the fifth one, which is the, the Nuzlocke officially ends when I defeat Leon at the very end of the game. So anything that we do outside of that... Um, anything we do after that point is no longer part of the Nuzlocke. Mm -hmm. And, um, I saw there was, like, because I did a little research. You, uh, some people say you're supposed to let go of your Pokemon. Some say you put it in a box. Uh, some say it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna just put mine in a box just because I want to try and do endgame content for Sword and Shield because I never actually did the endgame content. Plus... If I go back here real quick, uh, where's that opening? And then I go over here, go back to Wedgehurst. Yeah, um, turns out I do have the, um, <laughs> it, it looks like I do have <laughs> the expansion. <laughs> It looks like I do have the DLC for Sword and Shield. I don't know if that came with my, uh, with the fact that I have Nintendo Online. But I do have it. So, if we do decide that we want to actually finish playing the game, uh, we have that we could do too. I'm having fun right now trying to figure out my, 
My my well is my well is running correctly. I'm pumping out air and dirt. Ew. <laughs> Gross. But uh, but yeah, that's the those are the rules. Those are the rules. If you ever want to see them again, I created my own little uh, command that you guys can put in, so you can re-see the rules. All right. Let's go. Oh, oh, it's rain. It's raining. I found a jar of honey. It's a cup with dirt in it. I call it cup of dirt. Oh! The large but oh. Okay. Nope, leave me alone. Ah, ah, no, I don't, no, I don't want you to be my first cap. <laughs> I want you to be my capture. I think the Onyx wants to fight. We're not fighting the Onyx. And boy, she's, you sure that's honey? Yes, I'm sure that's honey. No, I don't want to go. Okay. I don't know what I want. What do I want my capture for the wild area to be? I low-key do kind of want it to be the Onyx. Actually... Let me actually show you guys my Pokemon. Because I did a little bit of grinding trying to get to the, uh... Trying to get the, uh, the Pokemon. My, the Wooloo. So, Harpy Hair. He's still a Raboot. But he's level 23. Flying Squirrel. He's level 18. Peepers is a level 20. And he's now, a. Uh... What are you called again? I forget what you're called. Um, Cor Corvusquire. He's now a Corvusquire. And then, of course, we have Maggie, the Yamper, level 19. He wants something that has less attacks than all. <laughs> listen, listen. I, ca I want it because he's big. That's the only reason I want him. The only reason I want him is because he's huge. And it would be super funny. Look at him. He looks stupid. Venti agrees. <laughs> he, he's a little stupid. All right, we're gonna one run wildly into the into this, and we're gonna see what we catch. We caught nothing. Oh, hello. Hello. It looks like he wanted to come to me. No, no! Uh, uh, I already have a bird. I don't need that one. He sees but die if some grass or water looks at him funny. Le but, well, but, uh, but, uh, use the right stick to. I know. I I know. I know how games work. Huh? Venti. Venti's getting into something. Alright. I want to check this out. Hello. Pokemon Dens. The pillar of red light you'll see in the wild area mark Pokemon Dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens, and you'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. You can start the battle on your own, or get up to three players to help you out. Okay. Rusty! Hang on. I'm gonna go grab him real quick while we're, while we're looking at the energy that's currently pouring out from the den. <laughs> out of the den. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come. Here, sit on the chair next to me. Here. I, war I warmed up my lovely little corn bag because my feetsies were cold. You can, you can have the corn bag if you want. I know you don't like it, the corn bag, but I like the corn bag. So this is my way of giving it back to you. <laughs> Not the corn bag! 
Hi, hi, Lexi. Yes, it's the corn bag. We all love the corn bag. Oh, again, what? Max Raid Battles. Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon and you won't get the chance of catching it. Additionally, there are some rare items you can only attain by battling Dynamax Pokemon. While wild Pokemon Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. Okay. Wait. No, come back. Hello? Why, why is this my profile picture? Yes, it's a water Pokemon. The battle ends when Pokemon faint four times or the battle lasts ten turns. Wait, no, I don't want to fight anyone. Oh. Who is, who is playing Sword and Shield in the, in the Year of Our Lord and Savior? Um, don't invite others. There you go. Alright, I don't know what we want to count this. See you. Well, I don't think fire's gonna work on this guy, so. Hmm. Let's Dynamax. Let's use Max Knuckle. If we catch this guy, does this count as our, um,. Capture for the area, or are we just gonna be like, yeah, let's just let, let's just have him for funsies. I'm also going to say just for just because I don't know like like I'm not gonna count this as like if if my lovely Rabu fades um you know I'm not gonna count it as like like part of the Nuzlocke because I don't know what this is. Well, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's not. I said. I said it wasn't gonna count. I think Poke. I think Den should be a free region. It shouldn't count as Pokemon for the region since it's random. I guess that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm probably not gonna be able to catch him anyway. I can't. I can't fight anymore. It's super effective. All right, do we want to throw a Pokeball at it? Why not? Oh, what a surprise! I caught it. <laughs> now you can use it to fight against the Onyx. Okay, but like... But like... How- what- what level are you? It's called the Two-Hand Pokemon. Okay, what's up? what's up? what's a- uh... What's a bird pun that we can that we can name him? 
name his name is Tommy Two Hands. But that's not a bird name. That's not a bird name. We need to think of a bird pun. We need to think of a bird pun for this. What's a good bird pun? Oh no, I got the hiccups. I can hear it. <gasps> Tommy Two Chickens. Okay, fine. <laughs> Is that even gonna fit? Okay. It doesn't fit. But what I can do... BRB... Okay. Bye-bye. To chick... Mm. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm not... I don't think I'm feeling it, to be honest. My eye, my eyes itchy. Um, hmm. I, I don't know what to name you. Uh, hmm. Ba 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 ba. I'm bad at puns. Hi, boy. Hi, Venti. Hi, Venti. What's going on, baby? What are they called when they're lovebirds? Do we want to just call them lovebirds? I don't know if they're related or not, but... She'll have, like, seven arms with she and Foss. What do you mean she'll have... What, what do you mean? Hi, Hi Venti. Hi, Bubba. You're, you're straddling the up. Hi, Hearn! Venti pet! Okay, I'm petting Venti right now. Venti, Venti's being a little, he's being a little baby. All right, they're called lovebirds. Because there's multiple of them. All right. Uh, how's, how's Raboot doing? Okay, Raboot's at one. Uh, we all collectively agreed that that didn't count. So I'm going to quickly go over, back over to that lovely lady and ref, uh, refresh him. And maybe we'll get our uh, region Pokemon too. Because we still don't have that. We just, we just caught that one for funsies. What I missed since last stream? Oh no, this was, uh, blah, 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 blah. You didn't miss much. Um, wait, no, back. What didn't count? Nothing happened. Lovebird just laid on your lap somehow. <laughs> you're, you're right. You're so right. But, okay. Heron Dragon, to catch you up with, um, what I, I did off stream. Um, so, you just saw us catch Lovebird. Uh, but Harpy Hair is level 23. Flying Squirrel is level 18. Peeper's Evolved, level 20. And Maggie's at level 19. I did some grinding. Actually, let me show you guys how many... How many Wooloos I caught. Well, not caught. I fought. I fought 305. Mm-hmm. So we're almost at that cool 500 that we need in order to be like, yes. You know? All right. Let's start running around in the grass and see what runs into us. Okay. Come on. Run into something. There we go. Bunny! Bunnelbee! Alright. Start thinking of rabbit puns. <clears throat> I joined when you were naming Lovebird. We got Lovebird in that raid. I think I could probably I could probably just catch Bunny Bunny Bee. Bunny bye. Alright, what's a good bird pun to name the rabbit? 
Bundle B. Bundle by. Alright. It's a digging Pokemon. It's very sensitive to danger. The sound of... Uh-oh. We already have a we have a Corviknight on our party. Are we sure that this is okay? <laughs> Are we sure this is okay? <laughs> I don't know if this is okay. Uh, what should we name him? Uh, we have Harpy Hair, and then we have um. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Oh, uh, bird puns are hard. Uh, uh, there's, there's a type of bird that burrows, right? What's a burrowing bird? Actually, I, actually, I kind of like burrowing bird. <laughs> I kind of like burrowing bird. Ostrich! <laughs> uh... We'll name that for an actual bird. Bro. I don't think I was here when you caught your yamper. Oh, yeah. I caught the yamper last stream. Uh, chat collectively agreed that I needed to get a... um That I needed to get a, a dog Pokemon and name it Maggie after my after my uh, actual dog. Broing bird. Broing bird. Has been added to your party. Okay. That was our capture for the area. We now must venture forth into the great unknown. I kind of want you, though. You're a fancy little tree. Cooking out your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon, even and even the PP they need to use so that it moves over and over. Pokemon that fainted in camp battle any longer will perk up as well with a popping call plate of curry before them. Visit berry trees to collect plenty of berries so you can always make more curries. Shake. Shake more. I think I suggested that too. Yeah. Keep shaking it. Did you catch a cat yet? No, not yet. Oh my god. Oh, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. It's raining. I, I know it's raining. Yeah, let's just, uh... <laughs> I'm so overpowered. Honestly, I might, I might be able to fight the Onyx. Let's be real. I don't think I'm supposed to be level 23. Oh no! Aw, oh, I lost all my berries. Did I lose all my berries? I lost all my berries! Dang it. Got greedy. Alright. I got greedy, guys. I got greedy. I shouldn't have gotten greedy. Alright, so I have to go around. Huh? Hello? Magikarp guy? 12 more levels until you know what. What do you mean you know what? Oh, he's a shop. Oh. Okay, thank you. Here. Let's try to avoid tons of battling. Oh, Harpy- oh yeah, evolving Harpy Harry. You're right. I forgot about that. I forgot he turns into a FIFA player. Tiny Mushroom! Oh my god, look! Oh my goodness! Oh, you're so cute! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't catch you. I'm sorry. But you're so cute! Oh! Oh my god, you're- Oh. Oh. Oh my god, 
Oh, no, not that. What do you mean? Look at the... Oh. I could shiny hunt them. You're right, but they're so cute. I'm already shiny hunting the Wooloo. I, I can't. I can't keep making exceptions, guys. I can't keep making exceptions for every Pokemon I find cute. Have you seen the anim- have you not seen the anime? No, I have not seen the anime. I- I don't- I don't watch a lot of Pokemon anime, to be honest with you. I really should, but I don't. Sun and Moon- Oh! Hi! No, I have not seen Sun and Moon. Uh, I mean it's grass, but I'm not- I'm not gonna set it on fire. Oh, I should have set it on fire. Imagine I died to a Boodoo. I mean, I could shiny hunt, just for funsies. And then there's a panda one too. Oh. Oh, he's so winky. Dark and flying. Hmm. Found a note. Special sort of energy measured in watts. All right. Okay, so if I find people in the wild, I might the beware in the. Sh I meant the beware in the show. Oh no, I. We're moving on up in the world, guys. I I've never watched. I didn't watch the. Um, I never watched the Pokemon anime, so. I don't. I don't really know much about it. Moto Moto Stoke <gasps> Barber Shop I can customize my character <clears throat> Ball Guy Okay First things first guys We're going oh Sonia, over here. No, I, I'm on a mission, Sonia. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your trick ran your Pokemon racket, though. You should pop it to the Pokemon Center. Besides, there's something in there I bet you'll get a kick of. If you're a real trainer and all. What? What, Sonia? What's more important than getting my natural hair color back? Oh, looks like the road... R rot Rotomi's free. Rotomi are a kind of Rotom information service. It's a handy machine for trainers. You can even use one to customize your leak card. Oh, I forgot about the leak card. Okay. I got Leon's leak card. Put the leak card in your ro Rotom. But it's Rotom. Rotomi? Rotomi? Okay, yeah, I know about leak cards. Rotom, but but it's called Ro, but it's Rotom E. Rotom I, Rotom I, Rotom E. But Moto Stoke sh sure is big, right? Not to worry, Sonya's here to show you around a bit. Come find me when after you heal up your Pokemon. Hi, Kujira! The opening ceremony, huh? I get a big work. I I get a bit worked up when I think how exciting and moving it was to actually stand on the stadium's pitch for the first time. I mean, I don't think my Pokemon really needs healing, but okay. What? What an iconic group. <laughs> Dude, I can actually be an intellectual viewer with this game. Oh no. 
Use card master. Uh, make a new lead card. I mean, maybe I should wait. Let me wait because I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new hairstyle and stuff. Red but what are you gonna catch? Uh, Zam Zamzetta in a master ball or no? Uh, usually for Pokemon games, I do. Oh my god, I do use the master ball to collect the legendaries. So, a brilliant young trainer who braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Motostoke is? Here for the gym challenge. I think the only time I didn't use the Master Ball was, uh, what was it? Was it the, uh, was it Violet? Did we get a Master Ball in Violet? I don't remember, actually. Yep, the gym challenge opening ceremony. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at Motorstroke Stadium, okay? Use that lift over there to get to the stadium, okay? Yeah, you get the Master Bar, Fallen Scarlet and Violet. I don't- I on- Loki, I honestly don't remember. I feel like it's been so long. And I don't even remember if I used it for anything. I might have been sta saving it for if I got the Shiny Fido. Nope, nope. Enter. Let's get our hair color. I would- I would like hair. Okay. Alright, I kinda like the short bob. But, um... First, let's get hair color. Uh... Pink brown? No. Wine red? No. Red? The, red might be the closest because I'm not seeing anything orange. I don't see any orange color. Uh, I don't really use it though unless you go back and catch the extra Maridon, Coridon in Area Zero. That might have been what I did actually. Did I do that? I don't- God, I don't remember. I'll have to look back on the play- on my playthrough. I tried to catch, uh, Zaichen not in the Master Ball, but no luck I had to use it. Yeah. That's mainly why I use the Master Balls because I feel like they wouldn't, like- it wouldn't work anyway. So, Master Ball is like a guaranteed catch, right? Which I didn't even know was a thing until I saw someone else do it. Green? We can't go green, guys. I'm trying to recreate myself. Platinum bot, caramel bot? Ash brown, dark brown, gold, black. Pink, mm-mm. They never have orange. What color do you think we should do, guys? Also, caramel blonde. That is not caramel. That's not caramel or caramel. I think caramel blonde is the closest you can get. Alright. Alright, side sweep, none, blunt, lash grazing. Lash. What do you guys think? Lash grazing or side sweep? Probably lash grazing, right? Caramel blonde or red? Here, let's put let's put it to a vote. Side sweep, I say personally. Okay. Let's put this to a vote. Where is the pull? No pull. What color hair? Uh, car caramel. Uh, caramel blonde. Or just straight red. All right. I will not allow chick points. Go for three minutes start okay all right voting what's going on hello cacophonies we're trying to we're trying to recreate my look in the game but uh, there's no orange color so I'm trying to figure out what's the best one red or caramel blonde and side swept okay now short bob 
Crawls, romantic tuck. Actually, let me hide myself for this. So that you guys can fully see everything. Oh my god, I love pigtails. Oh my god, that's cute. Braided pig. <gasps> oh my god. Long and straight. Braids. Okay. Curly bob. Okay, that's it. That's all of them. It's possible to catch a legendary without using the master ball, but it's a 100% catch rate with it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I mean, the short bob it close is the one that looks the most like me. But like... Oh God, I love the... I love pigtails, though. They're so cute. Show romantic tuck? That is the romantic tuck. I think the second pigtail option would work well. Which one? This one? That's cute. It, that is really cute. All right, it's looking like Caramel Blonde is winning. Let me, let me shoo off the red again. Here's red. Here's what it would look like as red. Can we see the romantic tuck from the side? Uh, nah. What do you mean, uh, nah? <laughs> Here, this is what it looks like from the side. Long and straight. Braided pigtails. I think... I'm honestly leaning more towards either high pigtails, ponytail, or braided pigtails. This, this gives me Nimona vibes. Uh, and then this one gives me Marnie. That's that's her name, right? Marnie. This gives me Marnie vibes. So we, we honestly might go with braided pigtails. Just because it's different. I think the braided pigtails work the best with what we've been giving personally. Mm -hmm. Braided pigtails looks like a farmer girl look. Yeah, it does. Which I guess kind of it kind of works with the vibe. So we can let, yeah, let's go. Let's go. With, let's go with this. And also, it seems like caramel blonde, caramel caramel blonde one. So let's do it. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. And then we'll do makeup too. Oh my god, you're so cute. Lady, why are there two of you? Like to put your hat back on? Yeah, I'll wear it. Yes, reprint my Pokemon League card. All right. Makeup. Okay, what kind of look do you want today? All right. Normal eyebrows, thick eyebrows, or thin eyebrows? Uh, let's, okay, let's keep normal. Can you change eyes? Yes, we can. Right here. Let's actually do that real quick. Let's change it to, mm, I don't like, I don't like pale blue. Is there like ultramarine? Yeah, that, that's better. Multicolor swirl. Total dark. Burning passion, heart eyes, star studded. <laughs> no, let's go with ultramarine. There we go. And then let's get the eyebrows caramel, caramel blonde. Ultramarine for the win. <laughs> cat eye extension. Ooh, doll eye extension. Hmm. Let's do cat eye. Uh, do we want makeup? Do we want lipstick? Mm. No, I don't think I want lipstick. I don't want lipstick. I think I'm good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? 
this it kind of looks a little bit like me right it looks a little bit like me right look we're we're twins we're twins <laughs> we can pass off we can pass it off as twins <laughs> You guys can see it, right? <laughs> Yo, when they put Nazatoria into a Pokemon, what? Holy what? <laughs> now change the clothes. Uh, we'll see if they have anything that... We'll, we'll see if uh, we, there's anything that matches in the, uh, the clothing store. I don't know. I think we look cute. I think we look cute though. All right. Oh, there's Sonia. Uh, take off out of way. All right. Oh my God, varsity jack. Oh my God, I love varsity jackets. <gasps> Uh, but none of them. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> pleated skirts. Oh my god, I love pleated skirts. <gasps> uh, but, but none of them. Ah, none of them are what I'm looking for, though. Ankle boots. But they're not red. What about what about bag? Plaid rucksack. Hmm. <gasps> Aww. Oh, but it's not red. Sunglasses. They got red and black sunglasses. Half rim eyeglasses. I don't really like these. And none of them really match what the look I'm going for. What about gloves? Plaid gloves? Nah. Nah, I ca I'm kind of happy with how we look right now. This might be the closest we're going to get to my actual outfit. What are you? Are you, are you a coffee place? Ooh! Welcome to the Battle Cafe! You can battle here once a day if you will. Give you a treat on the house. Do you want to battle? No, I'm good. I can't afford to die. Um. <gasps> Ooh, shiny. I found a nugget. I found a nugget. Modus Modus or something else. What well, other city has a lift to take you between upper and lower districts? Oh, uh, can I not go? Okay, I can't go over here. Fine. What about over here? Hello? Oh, I found a Pokeball! Leon throws his Pokeballs with so much energy, I wonder if the Pokemon inside get dizzy! So easy. <laughs> Kick and push the child. <laughs> oh, if only. If only. Can I go in here at all? Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> I'll just swim back. 
Did I ever tell you guys the story of how I learned how to swim underwater? Did I ever tell you guys that? Mr. Rose has a real love for the Gala region. It's not enough to it's not enough to help us to help keep us all with supplied with energy. He even supports the gym challenge. I don't know. Oh, I gotta I gotta do the um my lead card before I go, that's right. Someone, someone threw you in a pool too? Yeah, yeah, someone, not well, not really like that. They more like pushed me underwater. Uh, no, and sorry, I'm not typing much, I'm playing Elden. Oh no, you're all good. You're all good, Cacophonies, don't worry. But yeah, what happened was, um, I was in a pool and I wanted to swim in the, um, oops, no, I don't want that. I wanted to swim on the, um, in the deep end, but I wasn't allowed to swim in the deep end until... And you had to swim underwater. That's what the whole point was. Uh, so... The, what they did was... They pushed me underwater. And in hopes that I would learn how to swim underwater. So they... Yeah. I don't like any of these. These are kind of ugly. These are kind of ugly. <laughs> you unlock tons more throughout the game, so no shot you'll find the perfect thing in Motorstock. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm not crazy. Okay. Change modes. Okay. Change pose. I kinda like this one. I like this one. <laughs> sack, sack of potatoes. Hi. This one's cute. Oh my god, what if. Okay. Idle pose. Idle pose. Oh, I'm an idol. Idol. Change expression. Oh, we're so cute. Is there is there no wink? Oh, I want a wink. There's no wink. I want to be able to wink. Okay, this but this is cute. This is this is good enough. Clear coding or matte coding? Obviously, matte coating. Heck yeah. Oh my god, you're so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> you need to get an al- An alchemy at some point? What, what al- oh, Hang on, what's alchemy? Uh, I'm back. You look so cute. Oh my god, thank you, Lexi. I know, right? You're so cute. But are you an idol? I dream of being one. And that's all that matters. This is <laughs> let me let me imagine. Let me role play in this Pokemon RPG. <laughs> let me do some role play, okay? Gah! Oh no, he's here. I love Alchemy, they're so cute. How many forums were there again? Like 20 something. 
I don't, I don't want to talk to you. You're so ugly in this game. Why are you giving me charcoal? I didn't even help by Pokemon. It's combustible fuel that boosts the boost the power of fire type moves. Okay. So I can only use it once. I want to beat up Leon. <laughs> Why is he so ugly? Like, art of him, he doesn't look. He, art of him, okay. Art of Leon makes him look so hot, and then you see him in the game, and he's so ugly. <laughs> Now the charcoal is a held item, so it is reusable then, right? I'll cream me is the whip. Oh, it's the whipped cream Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. You put charcoal on Rabu. Okay, here's the thing though. What do we want to do about items? Because I know for some Nuzlocks, you're not allowed to have held items, or you're not allowed to use items, period. What What do you guys think we should do? What what did I do? What I'm now connected to the internet apparently. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but I did. See, this is what I mean. It looks so ugly. Is this your first playthrough or just first Nuzlocke? I need to know so I don't go full fucking backseat driver mode. Ah, uh, this is my first Nuzlocke. Charcoal boost fire type attacks. The artist knows how to make Leon look- The, the artists know how to make Leon good at least. That's how Pokemon is sometimes, if, it feels like. Like sometimes you get really pretty uh, Pokemon trainers and characters and whatnot. And then you get real ugly ones. And it's like... They want you to, um... <laughs> when I do Nuzlocke, my real set is that health items are okay, but items aren't... Uh, because they, they can let you cheese fights. Okay. Alright, so, why don't we do that? Let's allow held items, but not use regular items. All right, how do I put him on again? Oh, where's it at? Go to a Pokemon. Harpy. Okay. Uh. What do we want to do about EXP candy? Do we want to say that that's okay too? And like say, don't have anyone hold berries or anything like that. Drill run. Well, none of mine can learn it, so it's okay. X items are OP too. Okay. Majority of Nuzlockers just don't allow uh, healed items in battles, pretty sure. Okay, so we can use the berries. We just can't use them during battles. Okay. I'm sorry guys, this is this is this is very much like a like a learn as I go basis. Berries are only usable once per battle. Okay, once per battle. Alright. I can see hop in the distance. The Pokemon Company has such high quality official art that you get the in-game models and <laughs> they look like a molded cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Ball guy, I know. Look, ball guy, there he is. For what I know, berries are fine, heals are fine outside of battle, health items are fine, candies are fine if you're playing with level caps. And we're not we're not playing with level caps. Um, because I mean th these are the levels of my Pokemon right now. <laughs> I have the full art trading card on Ball Guy. It's my favorite card. We gotta talk to Ball Guy. Taka! I guess you're about to freak up that any old Pokeball. And who am I, you ask? The answer is simple. They call me the ball guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, they're, they're, they're keeping me here. Don't let, don't keep me here. I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be here. I'm gonna die. Ball guy, hello. Oh. Okay. Hi, Jambi. Welcome, welcome. I don't want to talk to Hob. <laughs> you made it too. Moda Stoke Stadium. This is where the opening ceremony will be held. Everyone will be watching the op watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm a little trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Hidata. It's time for the world to learn our names. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Milo's level cap would be 20 technically, so you could just use candies to balance everyone out, possibly. Uh, I, I, you know. Yeah, I, I, I could do that. Almost a team yell. Heck yeah. Huh? Where? Hit, oh, here it is. Um, Use this item. Uh, let's we'll use it on Flying Squirrel. Nineteen, nineteen. Okay, use this item. Use it on Burrow Bird. Okay, that grew him to level eleven at the very least. Quick attack. Um. Lear. I kind of want to keep that. So let's let's get rid of Lear. Honestly, Team Yellow is one of my least favorite teams in the franchise. They have no good purpose in the game besides literally just checking the box of past main language. Aw, come on! I think they're cute! They're doing it- they're doing it because, um... Uh, wait, it will instantly raise the level of a single Pokémon by one. No, let's save that. Do we want to use the Dynamax uh, candy on Harpy Hair right now? No, let's wait. I mean, because like the whole reason that Team Yell is a thing is because, uh, God, what's his name? Uh, Marnie's brother, who is one of the gym leaders, like has them like make sure that she's okay. And I think that's really cute. That's really cute. I think that's sweet. There's no reason, real reason to wait, TBH. Okay. Got three burn heals. Um. Uh, what's the rules on, like, heals, like, burn heals and stuff? It would be smart to grind raids anyways, and you'll get a sh uh, shit ton of Dynamax Cambies from them. Okay. Can't use them in battle, but you're fine outside of battle. Okay. All right. So that's basically just the- any- I can use- I can't- I, I can't use any, um... Bad? What do you mean bad? The candy makes your Pokemon stronger when they get big. Okay. What do you mean bad? Did I do something wrong already? There's bead! <laughs> There's bead on the last day of Pride Month, too! <laughs> Would you take a look at this? this? This place is packed with gym challengers. Every one of these folks is another rival. Oh, there's Marnie! I see Marnie. <laughs> bead! <laughs> The love for Bead is great. Let's get signed up. No, no one freaking cares about Marnie hiding in the back. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. Bead. Oh 
<laughs> Seriously, what a piece of work. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need your endorsements, please. <laughs> My me. <laughs> Aren't they like 12, though? <laughs> Aren't the characters like 12, Lexi? I don't, I don't think Pete's a twink. I think he's just a prepubescent kid. Fancy that. That's the first time we have a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now you'd... Now you've had two, because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what come over Leon this year. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hawk. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact, and the next champion. Got me signed up, would you? <laughs> Twink to be <laughs> Well, yes, I'm trying to. If you just give me a moment. Alright. Okay. Oh, oh my god, I forgot I get to pick my number! <gasps> oh my god, guys, what should my number be? <laughs> what should my number be? <laughs> I did one. Oh my god. Well, there's only like... I don't even know how many numbers... 13? Guys... Guys, you're not, you're not, you're not this for, guys, you're not, you're not thinking big enough. You can go, hi. <laughs> no, wait, or, or, uh, 21. Go 69. <laughs> one, because I'm number one, six, nine, zero. But that's not funny anymore because you got six, nine, then you got just a random zero. Hear me out, eight, four, zero. <laughs> hey, oh wait, okay. Here's what we're gonna do, all right? What if we get a number generator? If you could have more numbers then you could have had eight, zero, zero, eight, one, three, five. <laughs> I think there's a reason. <laughs> All right. Generate a, a number with three digits. Okay, my generative number is 372. Are we vibing with 372? <laughs> Could do 455. No, just 800. You're just scared of everyone around you. Oh my god. <laughs> God. <laughs> Guys, we need we need to we need to come to a consensus. <laughs> we we need to come to a consensus. What do we want? I mean, there's only like 999 different combinations. <laughs> I vote for the 800. All right. Are we feeling 800? Are we going to scare the people? <laughs> Are we going to scare people? No. <laughs> Oh my god. 
<laughs> Where's Bean? Bean uh, is currently in Baltimore doing something. <laughs> it's worse than JPEG. You look up to it. <laughs> no, we're not looking deep into it, okay? Don't look too deep into it. It's just a coincidence. 911 was a thing long before that. If you do this, you need to say one. <laughs> One one and not a <laughs> Does this imply that <laughs> Does this imply that 9-11 happened in the Pokemon universe? Was it the Porygon incident? Okay, no, I gotta we gotta stop. <laughs> we gotta stop. 911. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at us pulling up like a British girl. <laughs> the time where we used to start with the dance. <laughs> where do you think the credit are bouncing? I can't try. <laughs> <laughs> Smacked by all this. You must be some small from small country town. Is that it? I'm quite the same myself. <laughs> Guys smiling. Oh my god. There are heaps of us starting out like this, only some longer we make it to the end. Alright. There, <laughs> there he is, guys. <laughs> hey, Alright. <laughs> Here's your man. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. In other words, among all those elite enough to get an endorsement, I'm the most elite of all. So why don't you clear off and not try talking to me again, would you? I'm positively criminal of you. It's positively criminal of you. Wasting the time of someone as important as I am. <laughs> me? <laughs> oh, hey, she's cute. Look at her. She's got, a, she's got a hat and then she's got the blue pigtails. Oh, she's cute. What about you? Okay. Oh my god, okay. Alright, now what? You must be Challenger Hinata. The boot. Oh, excuse me. The boot do drop in is down this way. Who be so kind as to follow me? Oh, okay. Okay, strange man. Strange man who knows my name. I, I'm okay with this. Challenger Hinata, you've heard the boot, uh, it's, it's Buddy, right? Or Buddu? Buddu? Try to get some rest and build your strength for what's to come. Okay, strange man. Oh, hey, there's Team Yell. Hiya! Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonia. What are you doing at our hotel? Oh, God, not them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Budu. Okay, Budu. I'm researching the mysterious Pokemon that are said to be in the slumbering woods. I reckon if I look into some of Gaylor legends, I might figure something out. C care to join me? You're here anyway already. Are you going to get the region forms of Pokemon you could trade for, for with NPCs? I might try. I might try. I don't know. It should be fine, right? For no slocks, you're allowed to accept Pokemon from NPCs, right? 
So, I, so, so we'll probably do that, yeah. What's this then? It's the statue of the hero who once saved the gallery, Chen. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Ah, uh, give me all the details. Long ago, the great black storm covered the gallery region. People called it the Dark of Death! <laughs> it's back! <laughs> no, okay, no. <laughs> it is happening again. The land was assaulted about <laughs> to get the fuck it up! <laughs> but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and a shield. And this statue is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. I still understand, understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had. <laughs> but what this black storm was supposed to be is just another mystery. I would... <laughs> um... I was just joking about molded cheese earlier, but this, this just straight up looks like cheese. <laughs> According to a two comment Reddit thread, receiving a Pokemon will count as the encounter for the route slash area. Oh, okay. Morning. Hello, Everastu. Ever. Ever Asteru. Sorry. Good morning. Welcome, welcome. Darkest day. <laughs> I wonder why maybe it was Dynamax Pokemon. No. Formerly Kaoni! Oh, Kaoni! Welcome, welcome! Welcome, welcome! Nice to see you again! So, um... Hi, I'm Ever. Hi, Ever. Okay. You're just fine with being called Ever? Okay. Hi, Ever! Welcome, welcome! You missed a very interesting conversation. <laughs> uh, you know, it's fine. Oh yeah, how'd your Osu journey go? Bro, as it blood the skies all across Galar, I suppose that tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still, oh no. We failed, Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but had fun? That's good. That's good, I'm glad you at least had fun. I'm glad you, I'm glad you had a lot of fun. It was a good time, yeah. I'm glad you had fun. I was supposed to hear it must be about as strong as Lee then. Looks like you have your hands full with plenty of research, though, Sonia. She went with the number nine one one. <laughs> All right. You'll be all right, Sonia. Heh, <laughs> thanks. I muddled through somehow. Don't you worry. You two are staying here at the hotel tonight, though, aren't you? Shouldn't you check in? Probably so. All right. All right, let's go interact with Team Yell. We came all the way out of the big city so we could properly cheer on gym challengers. Team Yell is here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. I'm up for that. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way, you're, and you're in for a battle. Team Yell's all about helping. Helping one is one very special trainer when the gym challenge, that is. Currently mapping for... for Oh my god, I can't read. Currently mapping for the chill for now. Having a good week. Oh yay! Aw, oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're having a great week. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna help them make some noise. A zigazoon. Zigzagoon. Look at him, he's just a little guy. Okay. You're a dark Pokemon. I don't think I have anything that could combat you. So I'm just gonna do a double kick. Not that it even matters. <laughs> Not that it even matters. We won! <laughs> Thank you for the money. Oi, give me a break here. Tim Niel, get revenge for me, would ya? I never knew that fight was 2x effective on Darka to literally vile. 
fl fighting uh, was two times effective on dark until literally violet. It's a, it's a it's it's really weird how Pokemon typing works. Nick it. Oh, baby. Like that's the logic behind that. You can't punch a shadow game freak. <laughs> Wow, one damage. I mean, you can't punch a shadow, it just goes right through it. Alright, am I gonna... Okay, no, we're not fighting anymore. I was expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Hinata. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? That's you could get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training, <laughs> so I'm joy. Bestie, hop, no. <laughs> I don't think you want to fight me. <laughs> Here, I'll even heal up your Pokemon too. No, you don't want to fight me, hop. <laughs> I'm hop, one of this year's gym challengers, and the one who's going to be the next champion. Let's have a nice two on two. Bestie, <laughs> I'm so higher leveled than you. Don't. What's the logic of Bug being strong against Dark as well? They can't bite a shadow. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I almost only used my Cinderace. I mean, Cinderace is pretty strong. But most insects can see through darkness. Oh, that's true. Hush. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, we're, t we're, we're 10 levels higher than he is! Dun dun! For the whole story, I used it. Let's do a zooga zoog. Cinderace is pretty powerful. I think you're a bit overleveled. I was trying to get- I was trying to get the shiny Wooloo. That's why I was overleveled, because I was grinding- I was grinding Wooloos. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. That's so sad, Hop. You got to this level from Wooloos? Yeah, pretty much. I I beat up like 305 Wooloos. What's the logic of fighting being 0.5 times against Bug? He can squish a Bug effortlessly. Mosquitoes. <laughs> Guess it was defeat that I heard coming. I think I'm about to cry. What are you lot doing here? Marnie! Nothing. We was just. I know you all are terribly curious about the other gym challengers, but you gotta show a bit of restraint. Sorry about them. There are a bunch of my fans. Call themselves Team Yell and follow me around cheering for me. I think they've let it go to their heads a bit. Come on, you lot. Back home with you now. It's a strong bug. They're just so caught up with wanting to support me that all the... Uh... And all that they tend to get a bit shirty. Shirty. Shirty? Shirty? Shitty. They tend to get a bit shitty with other gym challengers. Sorry if they caused you any trouble. So you're a gym challenger too? Team Yell, is it? Pretty impressive that you already have a set of fans to call your own. Aww. Aww. Good evening. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sleep well. It's hard to hit small insects since they since they're too fast. Mm. If someone gets shirty, they behave in a bad-tempered and rude way because they are annoyed or something. British informal. Google. Oh. Okay. Morning. 
So, this is it. Now my legend really begins. Watch out, Hinata. I'll beat you in Moto Stoke Stadium. There's so much British stuff in here that it's like... Oh, wait, there was Marnie! Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. Okay, weird guy. All right, follow close and be careful not to lose sight of me. <clears throat> Made it to the stadium entrance. Please hurry to the opening ceremony. Was my guy practicing throwing a Pokeball? Probably. Hi, Bead. Okay. You're saying the same thing. Okay. What do you want to say, Hop? Can't wait for the first match. Pretty soon I'll have so many fans. I'll have to fight them off like the Lee does. <laughs> Bead! <laughs> okay. Alright, so we gotta get changed. Did you know that the buildings in Wedgehurst are based off of old British houses? I mean, I can see that. All of... <gasps> oh my god, look at us! request wearing the fire type uniform once you've earned it. Yeah, sure we can. <laughs> It'll really make the 911 more interesting. <laughs> now we're ready for at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. I've never been more proud. Oh god, oh no. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It's my pleasure to announce that finally the Gala Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders. And gather the eight gym badges to prove their skill as a trainer. One of the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. <clears throat> so after this game, are you going to do Scarlet and Violet? I already did Scarlet and Violet. I did it last year. Here they are. Let's be real. Uh-oh. What are we being real about? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. The fighting farmer. Here's the grass type expert, Milo. Oh. <laughs> oh. Kabu. The silent boy in mystery, Alistair. Friend to ghost types. <clears throat> The master of frantic theater. It's the charming fairy type user, Opal. The ice cold professional. Please book of the ice type master, Melanie. And last but not least, the tamer of dragons. It's Raihan, the top gym leader. Fortunately, we're missing one, but... These are the gym leaders that we're in the gallery chair and proud to call our own. Wait, what's with the what's with the asterisks? Was that a clip? 
Oh. Oh my god, look at us! We're so cute! I got my thumbnail shot. Mommy's sorry, mommy's sorry, mommy's sorry. From sniffing to O. Oh. <laughs> I tried to post the wonderful clip. Oh, we'll react to that when we're all done with this. Standing there on the pitch, in the stadium, in front of everyone! There's really no words for it, but I can barely contain myself. My heart's racing. You made it at last top, and you too, Hinata. So, you two trainers are champion endorsed himself. Welcome, it's a delight, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful. It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it's my wonderful company that invented those Dynamax bands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good. Very good indeed. That means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. Best of luck to both of you. The chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You have both just started your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Let's do it, Hinata. You know the gym challenge has a set order that you've got to visit the gyms in, right? The first is Tough Turf Field. And to get there, we need to head to Route 3. Okay. Alright, let's watch this clip. Let me find- let me get the clip. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's- uh, oh, it's the- <laughs> No, no! Okay. It's it's perfectly timed too. That's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. Oh no. <clears throat> oh no. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> This, yeah. Okay. I thought you I thought you clipped me being a sim for uh Nessa. No. No, you, <laughs> you clipped this. Hang on, mute the switch audio. Okay. Let's crank this up to that, yeah. I mean, I can see that. All of... <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, look at us! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no! God no <laughs> This is it this is my legacy now This is my legacy No <laughs> Oh no <laughs> I'm so proud <laughs> Now you get to G Max Pokemon Hooray I was too busy doing this to clip Nessa it's okay Okay Time to train our team on Route 3. Oh, well, I'll find somewhere else to train. <laughs> you guys ready to do some more Wooloo grinding? No, now get G-Max Pokemon. Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, the chairman asked me to deliver this gift to you. A gift. Such a wonderful thing for the chairman. Such a wonderful man. <laughs> Excuse me, the gift is access to flying taxis. You are now locked to, in a word, fly. 
Call Flying Taxi will allow you to travel quickly to pack to areas you've already visited. Okay. Press the X button, okay. Alright, well... Um... Um, uh, yeah, about that. Um, how about... Um... How about no? We're, go we're, we're gonna grind- we're gonna grind Wooloo. <laughs> breeding? No, we're not breeding anything. This is how I grind- this is how I got leveled up. All right, we're all we're almost at five hundred, so realistically, we're almost there. <laughs> we are almost there, guys. It might not feel like it, but we are. She is tasked with getting a shiny Wooloo. Yes, I am. Quack. We will get the shiny Wooloo. You should let your other Pokemon get priority EXP, probably? Nah. That's nah, fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. The rest of the Nuzlocke won't be as fun if you overlevel everyone. <sighs> but... But my Raboot! But my Raboot! But my Raboot! I don't think you're even allowed you're even allowed to have most Nuzlocks. No, you're not, but I'm making an exception. <laughs> but my Rabu! Look at how easy he's killing everything! <laughs> Alright. Alright, fine. What are you at now at now with Wulu kills? Uh, I, I'm over 300 now. Uh, here. <laughs> Poor excuse. 308. The Resident Lab Socks, it's okay to over level. It's the hard card ones where you can't. There's so many. There are so many of uh, rules for Nuzlocks. Oh my god. And here we are just grinding Wooloo. Go, a burrow and bird. Ooh. Tackle. What's the matter, baby? Benji's mad at me. Meow. That's what they all say. She's so cute. Poke Pokemon human designs are super cute. The ones that count, at least. Maybe it's just character creation bias, though. Oh no, the Wooloo population. RT Game would be proud. RT Game would be proud. Sweet.
<laughs> My god, you suck. You suck. Mud shot. 95% accuracy with 55%. I kind of like this. But. I can always get it back. Dude, I read this adorable story the other day about a kid that read Lapras Pokedex entry. And bred a bunch of Lapras and released them to the help them. I know, I've seen that and it's so cute. It's so, oh. Hi, boy. Hi, Venti. It was so cute. And then, like, didn't they, like, restore the, like, the Lapras population, like, in canon or something? Like, didn't they bring them back from, like, extinction? Like, they made that actually, like, part of, the part of like, the storyline or something? <sighs> it is so cute. Oh, I have no clue. I'll have to look it up, because I, I thought that was like a thing. Yeah, the new Pokedex entry said so. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a bubbles. All right. Oh, it's a Mudshot. What's the matter, boy? <laughs> Maybe I should buy candies and make burrowing bur burrowing birds. Um love love. Watch as Pokotuber says it's not 100%, it's 50% accuracy. <laughs> Egg, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll be fine. I'm paraphrasing, but I went something like this. Pokemon used to be endangered, but not anymore. Yeah. The little, little baby baby. Little baby brought the lab horses back from extinction. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, how good is how good is much shot really? Oh. It wasn't until Pokemon Moon that Lapras' entry hinted at uh, regaining its population. Aww. So wait, when was it confirmed that Lapras' were like an endangered species? Was that in the first game or was it... Hi Kronkai! Hydrate! I will get some water in a second. These Pokemons were once near extinction due to poaching. Following protective regulations, there is now an overabundance of them. Aww. What is Fenty? Venti is doing something. I can hear it. I'm too scared. I'm too scared to look at what he's doing. But slap. That sucks. Oh no, what do you mean oh no? What do you mean, oh no? What'd I do? What'd I do? I don't know what I'm doing. I love Pokemon, I'm terrible at the game. That's not my fault. 
They've been so cherished that there is now an overabundance. The fish Pokemon population has declined in waters with too many Lapras. <laughs> oh my god, oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's bad. That is bad. My chat. Mission failed successfully. Not the magic carps. Looks like poaching is the solution. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. Now we must breed the fish. We must cr we must create a surplus of magic carbs. My god, where's that kid when we need him? God dang it, you're worthless. Then years later, they'll become endangered as some kid's gonna breed all of them to overabundance. You're not going to breed Wooloo for a shiny Wooloo? No, because this is honestly easier. And then poaching again. No. This is honestly easier. Because... Yeah, Bunnelby really isn't the best and neither is Digger's B. Where I... Well, once we get the shiny Wooloo, we'll replace him. We, three, 316. We need to get over 500. Yeah, but, uh, the loop. It's just a continuous loop. All right. All right. I'm gonna grab water real quick. I'm gonna grab water real quick and see what Venti's up to. I'm gonna put you guys on the BRB screen real quick, okay? Uh, it won't take me that long. I want to be right back. Oh my god, I need to add the, uh... What is it? The, the, my... You know what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that real quick. You know what? I'm gonna do that real quick. While I'm here, anyway. Uh, switch screen. Stinger transition to... Uh, be right back screen. Uh. Does that work? Yep, that works. That works. It's okay. All right. I will be right back.
I found out what um what Venti got into. He got into the garbage can and he decided to eat something that I threw away. He ate, and I'm not joking, he ate a soft lemon cookie that was sitting, that, that was sitting in my fridge for two weeks that I decided to throw away. He found it, dug into my garbage can, took it out, and ate it. Is he doing okay? He's never been better. <laughs> He's so freaking happy with himself. Isn't that right? Yeah, he's he's fine. He's fine. He's walking around like nothing happened. He's walking around like he didn't eat a freaking lemon cookie. <laughs> oh. There's nothing I could do now. I cleaned it up. I just gotta wait now. I, I gotta wait to see if he shows any signs of sickness. He's not going to be in a few hours. What do you mean? Were the lemon cookies made with real lemons? I have no idea. I have no idea. Are lemons poisonous to cats? I think it was just lemon flavoring. Or lemon zest, something like that. Lemon isn't good to cats? Wait, what? Large enough quantities can cause depression for central nervous seizures, legion of seizures, or death. Oh my god. Um. Um. Okay, I didn't know that. He seems fine. He seems fine. It'll most likely be fine concerning how much lemon would be in one cookie with a chance that cookies were made with artificial Oh my god. So I'd, prob I'd probably smart to keep an eye on bro. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh my god. I didn't know that. Oh shoot. Okay, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Venti pets. V Venti's, Venti's staring out the window. Hang on. Bobbies, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I also didn't know you would freaking eat that cookie. Why would you do that? If you don't know either, come here. Come here. Oh, come here, spit it out, boo boo. I think it's too late for you to spit it out, though. I got him. I got him. He's right here. I thought you got over your phase of eating people food. I thought you got over that. Yeah, he's, he's fine. He's fine.
How do cats even eat things that are toxic to them? Don't they have a great sense of... You would think. You would think. Venti's really weird. Venti's a very weird cat. Like, I don't know what it is. Venti is just like... Venti's very obsessed with bread. Like... Bread doesn't- lemon smells good, that, that's true, yeah, lemon does smell good. But, like, Venti- Venti absolutely loves bread. And bread gives him, like, no, like, boost in, like, you know, anything, really. Like, he is obsessed with bread. You- uh, like, we can't leave bread out at all, like, whatsoever, because he'll rip into it and he will eat the bread. And it doesn't matter, like, what type of bread, either. Any type of- which is probably why he went for the lemon cookie, because it's like, quote-unquote, bread, right? It's a cookie. It's made out of, like, flour and egg and milk and all that stuff. Like, he- he- I don't- I don't know why. Actually, while I have it off, why don't I actually Google that? Why is my cat obsessed with bread? Smell, smell or texture, taste of yeast, craving for nutrients. What do you mean? You're getting a great diet, boy. <laughs> You're getting a great diet. I don't understand. Carbs. Thanks. Oh, some cats really like baked goods because they can taste the butter in it. Huh. Fenty, do you like butter? Just like his mom, he loves butter. Uh... I am a little- I am a little freaked out though, so... I might just end the stream early. Just to kind of keep an eye on Venti, make sure that he's doing okay. Uh, cause I don't know. I I'm guessing it's probably just lemon zest that was in it. So, you know how Google always gives you like the worst, um, it always gives you like the worst case scenario stuff. But, um, the fact that the first thing that it tells me is that it can cause seizures and death is kind of getting me a little freaked out. Uh... So I want to make sure that he's doing okay. Like, he's fine now. Honestly, he might just poop it out. That or throw it up. I mean, the best case scenario would be that he poops it out. Uh, but, um... Did, wait, did I say worse or best? Best case scenario is that he poops it out. Worst case scenario is obviously, you know, the other one. But, like, I want to keep an eye on him, make, make sure that he's okay. Uh, I have no idea how my dog is alive when chocolate is toxic to dogs and she had some. I think it's a very specific type of chocolate. I think it's like dark chocolate or like chocolate with high content concentrates of cocoa, I think, or, co or cacao. I just checked, but the smell of lemon and citrus fruit is unpleasant to cats. The what? What? Venti! Why? Why? Why is my cat weird? All right, peeper zoom. All right, one minute on the timer. Okay, one minute. One minute's on. Venti. Venti, if you, you, it smelled so much like lemon. Well, actually, I don't think it really smelled much like lemon, but you know what I mean. Like, why? Sugar then prob. Yeah, I feel so bad. I did not know that. Um, thankfully, though, um, I believe tomorrow's Monday, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Monday. So if something bad does happen, um, the vet should be open. The vet should be open. And if they're like... Sorry, we can't fit you in. I'm driving up there, and I am like, 
I'm gonna hand deliver my cat and be like, listen. Listen, bro. The zoom. The zoom. Oh. So, I mean. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it early tonight. Uh I don't I don't understand him. I don't understand him. But uh yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. I don't understand why you're like this. You're staring very intently at something out there, boy. He's unique. How- how did- how did it take me this long to notice the head wound? <laughs> uh, he's- he, he- it's just sitting there. It's giving me pride and joy. Alright. Uh, no one followed or subscribed, so... Why? What are you- He's perfectly fine. He's perfectly fine. He's just being weird. But the weirdness now makes me paranoid. The weirdness now makes me very paranoid. Uh... He's mad no one followed. For real, for real. Uh... Let's find someone to read. Uh, back to Twitch. Uh, drill dozer. What's drill dozer? Okay, drill dozer. All right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Any friends on? Yeah, D Dakota's the one that I was looking at. Uh, I got someone you could raid. One of my friends that helped you get to 300. Ooh, who? Chunko 200, 2008. Alright. Hang on, let me go grab him. Let me go grab him. I got the boy. Probably playing guitar if I have to- Ooh! Ooh, music, okay. How are you doing, buddy? Are you okay? Oh, Mama's sorry. Mama didn't know. Mama didn't know. Probably loved it, though. Probably loved it more than I did. Oh, Chungo. Yeah, it is guitar. It is guitar. You're, you're probably able to hear it. You guys- Oh wait, no, it's muted. Hey, Papa. Hey, Papa. He's purring. He's happy. He's a happy little baby boy. Menti pegs. Yeah, I'm petting him. Don't worry. I'll probably cuddle with him tonight, make sure he's okay. I will keep you guys updated, but my guess is that he's prob he's probably gonna be okay. Um, if it was the cookie was flavored, but I'm gonna guess it was probably it was probably flavored with lemon zest, so it's not it probably wouldn't be enough to cause any like actual damage, but just in case. 
just in case. But we'll, we'll raid uh, El, El, El Chungo. Am I saying it right? El Chungo? I do just want to say, you know, as quick as possible. What? Hi, Kataro. Hi, Kataro. Hello, Kataro. I have an actual reason why I'm too. I have an actual reason why I'm ending early. Um, Venti got and like Ven Venti got into my trash can and ate a lemon cookie, and um, I had no idea lemon was poisonous to cats. Or not poisonous, but, well, uh, yeah, a poisonous. It's toxic to cats. And I didn't know. And it's kind of worrying me. So I'm keeping an eye. I'm going to end the stream early so I can keep an eye on him and make sure he's okay. You think that is real lemon? It, make, it, make, it makes me worried. It makes me worried. You think, that, you think that is real lemon? It probably is. I don't know. It's made with lemon zest, and I don't think it would be enough, but... I, I kind of got in my head that, because I looked it up on Google, I got in my head that he's going to be really sick. And it, it's making me paranoid. So I want to make sure he's okay. He's, uh, he's vibing right now, but it's just in case. Okay, if it is for the kitty. Yeah, it's for it's for Venti the kitty. He, he, like I said, he's doing fine now, but I don't, I don't know how, if he'll be fine later. So I just want to make sure he's okay. But. Cats! Why? Bread gives no nutritional value to you. Uh, uh, nothing in nothing in bread. Nothing in bread makes them happy. Hinata is being crazy cat lady. I know. I know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I just get scared. I just get scared. Venti's like my Venti's my pride and joy. I treat Venti like my son, and I feel really bad. Why are you throwing lemon cookies away? Because the lemon cookie was sitting in my fridge for two weeks. And I was like, oh, it's it's bad. It's probably bad, so I might as well just throw it away. And then Venti found it, and then he ate it. Two weeks, that's it? Yeah, listen. L listen. <laughs> listen. I don't want to keep it. I don't want to keep it. I don't want to keep it anymore. Alright. I'm gonna show you guys my stream schedule real quick. I keep things way longer. Listen! Listen! I I'm trying to be a responsible adult. I'm trying to be a responsible adult and keeping things- and throwing away things that I don't want. No, I don't want that lemon cookie. And I thought Venti was past that. Looking at. Ah. Anyway, stream schedule. Tomorrow I'm doing an art stream. Tuesday, Phoenix Wright. Wednesday is a Splatoon Endurance stream. Uh, Thursday, Happy America Day. Friday, Co op Star Stardew Valley. And then Saturday, more Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah. Responsible wasting food. It's not wasting food! It's not wasting food. Clearly it didn't go to waste. Clearly it didn't. Clearly it didn't. Did you see the number she picked she picked for sword and shield? Oh god, I picked 911. <laughs>
911, not 911. <laughs> no! <laughs> I would like to say that it probably suggested something. How about that? Alright. Oh. You're not leaving you're not leaving me. I hope you realize that. You better get comfortable on my lap. Yeah, I'll update you guys on how he's doing. Uh, God, I need to reach my- I need to reach my keyboard. Ah! Well, his jumping still works. It's really up to the person reading it. Oh my God. All right, what are you drawing? Um, let me put it back up. Uh, Hollow Life digital message board art. I'm gonna buy a, a space on the digital message board and I'm gonna... I'm gonna, um... I'm drawing a little picture. Mm -hmm. And it'll be at the, um... It'll be on the uh, Hollow Life boards during the concert in August. Mm -hmm. I figured if I can't go, I should go and try and support them in some way. What is he getting- what is he getting into now? Hang on, oh my god. He tried to get into the garbage can again. It's okay. All right. He's stalling you. He's stalling me. Yes, he is. I mo I moved my trash can up to a place where he hopefully should not be able to reach. Oh my god. All right. Raid message. Raid. Chick P raid. Chick parade. We're gonna raid into El, El Chungo. Is that how you pronounce it? El Chungo. Cough, cough, squeeze in another emo. Listen, I'll try. I'll try. I don't think so. I don't think I'll be able to draw another emo. Art is one of those things where it's like, Chungo, Chungo, yippee. What are you meowing about? He's meowing about something. Uh, art is one of those things where it's like it's really hard for me to concentrate. So I might end up doing like one little thing and then that would be it. But. Oh my god, he's getting into more stuff. All right. He wants the try. I know he does. I thought we moved past this phase, and that's what makes me so upset. I, I mean, the fact that he ate something lemon-related is also making me upset, but the fact that I thought we broke this habit, and now he's doing it again. Uh, uh, I need to get a spray bottle again. Nah. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start the raid. Raid. Uh, eat lemon cookie next time. No, I didn't even really like it. I didn't even really like it. That's why I was sitting in my fridge for a while. Cats will be cats, I guess, for real. All right, I'm gonna go cuddle with Venti. Make sure that he's alive and okay. Well, he's alive at the very least. Uh huh. But. I'll, I'll let you guys know how he's doing, okay? I'll let you guys know, okay? Alright. I will see you guys tomorrow. 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 Yeah, tomorrow. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye, Hearn! Bye bye, everyone! Bye bye! Bye bye! Bye 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 bye! Bye bye! Venti also says bye. Hi, boy! He's, he just ran right up next to me. Bye bye!